If there's one thing to take away from Fantastic Beasts and where to find them, is that everyone in this film has a great hairstyle. That's for damn sure. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. So Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them is a spin-off from the Harry Potter franchise. Now I'm not a huge fan of Harry Potter, but I do like the films. And I read some of the books and I do like some of the books as well. So I was mildly excited for this film. But I gotta say, after watching the film, I really enjoyed Fantastic Beast. One of the things I really like is that this film was directed by David Yates, who directed the last couple Harry Potter films. And that was a really good thing because as soon as the film starts, it feels like you're entering the Harry Potter world again. It almost feels like you never left it. To me, I think the biggest positive of this film was the acting and the characters. Definitely, Eddie Raymond as Newt Scamander was definitely the standout of this film. Him as the lead, he did a great job, especially when he is just talking to one of the beasts. It's so convincing. He does such a great job interacting with them. And also too, Brie Larson was good in this film. I'm sorry. Let me just say this. She looks identical to Brie Larson. Please tell me I'm not the only one that thinks that this girl looks like dead on Brie Larson. Like that shit's like too similar. Anyways, Catherine Watson was good in this film here. Chemistry between her and Eddie Raymond was good. Dan Fogler's character, Jacob Kowalski. By the end of the film, there was a moment between him and the other characters that I was like, man, I'm kind of getting teary eyed. It was such an emotional scene. I was like, man, I was not expecting to like this character that much. He really did a good job. Colin Farrell was great in the film, and Ezra Miller, The Flash. He plays a very serious role in this film. A lot of the times where it's a very dark situation that his character is in, he really plays those scenes really well. The special effects in the film were really good too. The action scenes were cool as well. The score by James Newton Howard was really well done. This is definitely a great score from him. The cinematography was good, and I liked there was a couple of moments in the film where I thought, okay, so this is where the film is going, but it actually went in a different direction. I was like, oh, nice. As for negatives, I don't have too many negatives with the film. Honestly, the film's story, it's not a terrible story. It's a good, decent story. It's nothing amazing. It's enough, though, to get you, like, interested. There was also, to a couple of scenes that kind of dragged a bit that I felt that could have been shortened as well. Some of the special effects were great, and there was a couple that was like, okay, you can tell that CGI needed a little bit more work. But other than those nitpicks, honestly, the film Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them is a really fun film. The film's strongest point is the characters, because by the end of it, you care so much for them, and you're just like, man. Those characters are gonna stick with me. So I'm gonna give Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them a B plus. Even if you're not a fan of the Harry Potter films, I suggest checking this film out just to see how it is. You know, you don't have to watch the Harry Potter films in order to enjoy this film because as a standalone film, it works. So you don't have to watch the other films to know what's happening. So guys, that's my review for Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. What did you guys think of the film? Did you guys like it or you guys didn't like it? Please let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, have a nice day.